What's going on guys? Welcome to GFX Capture. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to use value graph in After Effects and try to make a composition something similar to what you can see on your screen right now. So without further ado, let's jump in. So take a composition, uh, standard 1920 by 1080. Uh, black background is fine. Five seconds would do. Now I'm going to just bring a image, an object, which I have. In this case, I'm going to bring my football image into my composition. Place it where you want. You can also bring other objects like eclipse or rectangles, etc, etc. But in my case, I've got a football, so I don't actually need this. Uh, just wanted to show you that you can actually bring other stuff as well for this purpose. Um, so as I said, position your object where you need, change the scale, change the position, and now I'm going to uh, put a keyframe on the position, and after about maybe a second or a couple of frames, um, I'm going to move on and drag it to the right side. Now you can see actually I'm doing it from the the value itself not from dragging the object you can do the drag the object as well i'm just going to put a um, easy ease on it by pressing f9 once you've done that click on the object and go to graph editor and here you can see the x and the y axis uh, or the values for it um, in one of my previous videos i talked about uh, speed graph um, you can select that from here as well but we are interested in the, in the value graph, so we're gonna work with this. Now, I only want to see the y, the x-axis. I don't want to see the y-axis, the green line. So you click on your object, on your position, and click on separate dimensions. Deselect all, and then click on the y position toggle to remove the keyframe. Now, when you go back into the graph editor, there you can only see the x-axis uh, graph, okay? double click on U to get rid of the X uh, Y position. Now here you will see these two yellow lines when you click on the graph um, at the end um, you will see these two yellow um, lines. Drag them as you like uh, to change the, the value of your graph. The flat the graph is uh, the slow your object will move. Um, if it's steep uh, your object will actually be faster moving faster from one point to another. Okay. When you drag the uh, the corner of uh, the graph, actually, you can change the position by of the object by doing so as well. Because we are working in the time domain, you are changing effectively the position of um, your object um, uh, according to the time. Just when you click on the the graph itself, for example. If you click on the graph, you can select it all at once and then you can move it all uh, move all together. So this is how you use value graph in the graph editor. Now let's go back to our object and split the X and the Y. And this time we want to animate the Y position. So I want the, 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 the football to actually have a bounce effect. Um, so like when you drop it from the top, um, it bounces not just once but a couple of times. So the way we're going to do it is um, set a keyframe on the Y position, um, move it along, move along in the timeline, um, and change the position of the football. So drag it down. Now, as you can see, I'm not actually dragging the football itself. I'm changing the the Y position um, here. Now select your line, your green line. Uh, click on Auto Bezier, and now you can change the value um, of your object uh, moving from one place to another so i'm just gonna um, change this uh, from top and also do the same on the top and the bottom as well just so that it has a nice curve and when it falls down from the top it has that drop effect of a normal football so let's play it and see how it is okay so normal animation up until now. For the next bounce, for example, um, I want to change it and drag it back. Again, I'm doing it from the value, not from the object itself. I'm not gonna go as far as the, the first, first value or the height because obviously after the first bounce, it shouldn't go that high anyway. Um, and again, change your uh, yellow lines uh, to actually bring that nice curve and the nice drop. So now this is done. 
um, I can just select the tip of the these two um, here and I can just simply do a control C and a control V to paste it um, and then change my yellow lines um, accordingly actually as I want so it's easy as that just control C control V you can you can do that or again as I said you can change the the value um, of the the Y position as well uh, depending on what you want but I think both of them actually works exactly the same way uh, control C control V makes it just easier for you So I'm going to speed up the, the video a bit um, just so that we can get to the end um, goal and result and we will be done. So now we're done, I'm just going to quickly play it just to see how the bounce effect um, is actually working in this. So let's give it a go. Nice. So it is working. Um, it is looking all good. Next thing I want to do is um, just simply change the position of the, the football. So drag the X uh, position uh, to the left side. Um, so the whole um, football along with the animation actually changes um, and after that um, let's give it a go like this and also I want to set a keyframe now on the X position as well so the first will be here and that's fine and if you select both you can actually see where your graphs are going as well okay change the pointer uh, move it to the end and now you drag the x-axis or the x-position so that the the football or your object actually moves along all the way your starting point is of course still um, on the left hand side you've just dragged the end position so let's play it again and see how it is whoa this looks cool Okay, so we're not finished yet. I'm just going to add um, a few more things. The first one is I want this football to actually just roll um, on the ground, if you like, um, animation um, after it finishes, it, after it takes um, the, the final bounce. Um, so after this point, um, just move the cursor uh, and drag the X axis or the X position. Uh, to the right so that it kind of actually goes um, sort of rolls on um, after this okay and the other thing I would like to do is to also set the oops sorry no not this one the x-axis yeah there you go go back to your starting point um, enable a keyframe or set a keyframe on the rotation I'm gonna add four uh, full rounds of rotation um, on the football uh, when it reaches the end so let's play it nice okay this is amazing but wouldn't it be nice if we were to do this on a football pitch for example okay so let's bring a football pitch and there we have it let's play Oh, this is amazing. This is really amazing. So I really hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope you have found this useful. If you have, uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to share. Hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.